we explore pre-touch sensing for mobile interaction. This emerging modality uses a self-capacitive touchscreen to sense multi-touch above the screen, as well as grip around the outer edges of the device. Anticipatory techniques proactively adapt the interface to the current grip and the approach of the fingers. For example, our prototype video player has an ad lib interface that spontaneously presents interactive elements just in the nick of time. Initially, there is no interface. The video is the focus of attention. But when the hand approaches, this indicates a change in context, and so the controls fade in. Yet, the interface recedes into the background when the user moves out of proximity. However, if the user holds the device one-handed, only a subset of the controls come forward, and in a manner particularly suited to the thumb. Instead of sliders, the user dials to scrub through the timeline, or adjust the volume. While holding the device in the other hand brings the controls to that side instead. With a second thumb, a richer set of options becomes available, and is distinct from a pinch to zoom, which again fades out single finger controls. We also explore pre-touch as a way to provide a calm web browsing experience, free of clutter. Only when the user approaches do the hyperlinks reveal themselves, and they do so in a rich way that feathers off with the contours of the finger. And when the user comes in with multiple fingers, the interface again recognizes this as a distinct state. This affords self-revelation of multi-touch gestures, such as providing hints for a two-finger swipe to switch tabs. With a simple mode switch, the pre-touch channel can also be used to refer to and highlight content during collaboration. Pre-touch can also act as a back channel that augments touch events. Hence, a rapid tap that just happens to land on a small target can be discounted. Or, fine adjustments that end up on a large target can be mapped to a nearby small control instead. As another example, a touch preceded by rapid lateral motion can immediately be interpreted as a flick, whereas a touch preceded by precise motion instead triggers text selection. Finally, pre-touch lends itself to hybrid touch plus hover gestures, which combine on-screen touch with sensing fingers directly above the screen. For example, we can enhance selection by pressing on an object while bringing another finger into range to call up options. This allows efficient commands at a comfortable and convenient location. However, since we can also sense grip, when using just the thumb, the technique gracefully degrades to one-handed use. Hybrid touch also has potential for games, such as a soccer game. We have demonstrated how pre-touch affords interfaces that are more responsive to the fine-grained context of use that are easier to reach and more comfortable to use, and that engender more communicative, more expressive, and more entertaining ways of interacting through touch. Taken as a whole, our exploration of pre-touch hints that the evolution of mobile touch may still be in its infancy, with many possibilities unbounded by the flatland of the touchscreen yet to explore. <laughs>